Hello, bookish friends in the internet. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew, and today, and this is Drew's ambitious video. And for today's video, I am very excited to say that it is time for my book haul. I'm so excited. I got so many new amazing books this month to read, and I'm really excited. Most of these are from Owlcrate because Owlcrate sent their October box late for me. And then I also got my November box, which I'll leave both unboxing up above or down below. Um, and if you can hear the leaf blower outside, my neighbor's out doing their yards. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I am very excited. I have a bunch of new books to show you um, and such pretty additions. Let's see if I can hold this up without dropping. There we go, my book haul. <laughs> I am very excited for all of these. So without further ado, let's get to the book haul. Well, before we get to the book haul, you know I always talk about my current read. So I am currently reading The Gilded Cage by Letty Noni. This is the second book in the Prison Healer trilogy. I'm really loving it. I'm halfway through it, hoping if excuse me <laughs> hoping to finish this tonight wow i don't know what happened there <laughs> hoping to finish this book tonight and i'm really enjoying it it feels like a four star read right now maybe something dramatic would happen and it will be a five star read <laughs> um so really enjoying it so far um like i said i'm halfway through it and i'm hoping to finish it tonight um, cause I got no plans tonight. So there's that. <laughs> so let's just jump into the book haul. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 12, 13, 14 books here to talk about today. So get yourself some tea, some water, some food, a blanket to curl up with <laughs> and let's get into it. So these first two books I'm going to show you at the same time because these are both books I need for me to read for my tours. And they are, Bear, oh my gosh, excuse me, Bearcliff Prep by Brianna Pippins. Um, I did start this one today and I'm really enjoying it so far. I know it deals with heavy topics of domestic abuse and relationship abuse. So check the trigger warnings for that. Um, so I'm very curious to see what this is, what's going to happen in here. I know this is set at a boarding school, which is why I wanted to read this book, but I didn't realize that it had abuse relationship in here. Otherwise I probably would never have picked it up. Uh, this was sent to me by Disney books, or I should say Disney Hyperion. Um, thank you so much, Jamie, for putting me on the tour for this. I'm really, really excited for this one. Um, another one I'm really, really excited for is A Wilderness of Stars by Shay Earnshaw. This is Shay Earnshaw's newest book. And this one actually is not out yet. This comes out November 29th. So I think this will come out by the time the video is out, though. So if it is, happy late or early birthday to A Wilderness of Stars. Uh, I love Shay Earnshaw's writing. I've really devoured both of the books that I've read by her so far. I've read... The Wicked Deep and the White Cover. I totally forgot what it was called. Oh, Winterwood. Duh. Um, and I haven't read A History of Wild Places, nor have I read Long Live the Pumpkin Queen yet. But I am definitely excited for this one. I feel like this book is in the same vein as The Wicked Deep. So that will be fun to read about. The back of this book says, this is the... This is the fear that my mom spoke about on nights when she couldn't sleep. When she watched the ridge above the river for signs of someone's coming. She was terrified that someday would be found. I never truly understood the panic she felt. The sharpness at the back of the neck when you know you're about, you're being hunted. But now I do. Like, does that not sound good? Once again, this, I don't know if I said this yet, but this was sent to me by Jamie as well over at Rockstar Book Tours and also Simon and Teen, or Simon and Schuster, also known as Simon and Teen. Um, so thank you guys so much for sending this my way. My book review is December 14th, so come back on my TikTok for uh, a book review. Next is a highly anticipated read of mine, and that is 
Quest for the Hidden City by George Mann. This is in the second book in the Phase 2 High Republic series. It's not a Drew's ambitious reading video without a Star Wars book mention. <laughs> um, this is the middle grade book in it and you thought by now I would be reading it but I haven't read the YA book so I don't want to spoil myself for what happens from the YA book into here because sometimes they do that. Um, so I'm going to be reading the the YA and middle grade and then the adult book which is also in this book haul all in December next month very ambitious of me to do um but I don't know too much about this and I don't really want us to say what this is about except it's centuries before the Clone Wars or the Empire in the early day of the High Republic it was an age of exploration in the galaxy far far away so yes very excited to dive in and I think these are new characters or it's just a character that I'm forgetting about from phase two or phase one. So very excited to get to this, like I say with every, every book. Uh, the next two books I want to show at the same time because my friend Sydney, oh, you're an amazing girl. I love you. <laughs> my friend Sydney, she bought me two books off my Amazon wish list. One of them is one that I literally just talked about like last week and she already got it for me um so she got me legends and lattes by travis bardieri um this is a cozy fantasy read that is obviously super short um i don't really know too much about this it says a novel of high fantasy and low stakes it says after love a lifetime of bounties and bloodshed viv is hanging up her sword for the last time the battle weary or aims to start fresh, opening the first ever coffee shop in the city of Thuru. But rival old and new stand in the way of success, not to mention the fact that no one has the faintest idea what coffee actually is. So it sounds so cute, so fun. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's lesbian main characters in here as well, so we love that for us. Um, and it's, again, super short, one that I definitely want to read in December because I just feel like it's a perfect December read. Give me a minute to respond to these messages. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had, like, messages just popping up, you know, how it spams. <laughs> um, so, yes, thank you, Sydney, for buying me Legend and Lattes. I am really excited to read this. Um, hopefully this is not a first book in a series because if it is that will be kind of bad because I'm trying to wrap up series and not start them <laughs> uh, but this is one that I think Lori and I are going to buddy read unless she already started this because I think she said she started this already but I'm not too sure but again thank you Sydney for buying this I'm ready to get to it um, next book that Sydney got me is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson um, this is a YA standalone fantasy novel that has been on my wish list for a very long time. I think like ever since it came out and somehow she was able to get a hardcover of it off my wish list because I think the hardcovers are still in stock, which thank God she did because I have her other two books in hardcover and all three of them just look so stunning next to each other. Um, I don't really know too much about this. I know I just wanted this book because... It was everywhere when it came out. Um, it says every enchantment has a price. With the flick of her paintbrush, Isabel creates stunning portraits for a dangerous set of clients, the fair folk. These immortal creatures cannot bake bread or put a pen to paper without crumbling to dust. Interesting. Never actually like read the summary out loud until I read it to you guys. So I'm very intrigued by this. Um, hopefully I'll love it because I've read um, Sorcery of Thorns by this author, loved it, and I have Vespatine on my shelf, but I haven't read it yet, but I really just know she's going to be like an auto-buy author. <laughs> uh, and now going into these last few books that I have before I show you the three new releases. So all of these right here have been sent to me from uh, book boxes. So first one I have here is The Secret Garden by... Ha uh, Francis Hodgson Burnett. I'm so sorry if I broke to that. This is a stunning Owl Crate edition that obviously got sent from the, our Owl Crate box. This is one of the few classics that I actually haven't read yet, and I'm kind of interested in reading it, so I might keep this instead of giving it to my friend Taylor. Um, even though I'm pretty sure right after I read it, I'll give it to Taylor. 
<laughs> um, I never actually read The Secret Garden, so I can't really tell you what this is about, but I'm sure everyone else knows what this is about. And if you don't, I don't know where you've been, like, for years. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll get to this in December. If I do, that'll be a fun, cozy read. <laughs> And then I got one of my most anticipated reads of the year. I'm so excited. I know for sure Lori and I are going to be buddy reading Blood Marked in um, December. So look forward to my December TBR. And of course, that is Blood Marked by Tracy Dion. I, of course, just said the title before showing you. <laughs> but I am so excited to read this. This is my most anticipated read of mine. And so far, my most anticipated reads have been like five star read for me. Um, so I'm really excited to get to this and I'm hoping I will love this a whole lot. Um, we have a page breakdown and everything for this. So I'm so excited to start this. Um, this will definitely be like one of the first reads I read in December because this is a buddy read that, like I said, Lori and I are going to be reading. Uh, I'll leave Sydney, Lori's and Taylor's social media down below if you want to go check out them. They are all amazing. Um, but this is book two in the Legend Morn series, and I've been hearing nothing but amazing things about the sequel from people who've already read this. Um, so, yeah, I'm very excited. Can't really tell you much about this, except if you love a good fairy tale retelling of King Arthur, this is definitely a series to check out. Uh, next book I have is from uh, Rainbow Crate, and that is 16 Souls by Reese... Talbot, I think. I'm so sorry if I breached this. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this author is also on Book Talk, and she published her book because of Book Talk. And this edition is just so stunning. Like, I love this. This is an indie book, so like, I love how an indie book is like even more stunning than our Rainbow Creek book was. Uh, don't get me wrong, the main pick for Rainbow Creek, Rainbow. Oh my god, Rainbow Crate is stunning as well. But this is like sprayed edges and everything. And it even came with a signed book plate that I have in here. So I really cannot wait to read this. Um, again, I if it wasn't for Book Talk, I would not know what this book is about. Um, honestly, I can't really tell you much about this. Except I can read this little part on the summary. It says, 16-year-old Charlie has problem. He's a seer of spirits in New in York, the most haunted city in Europe, and all his friends are ghosts. His sisters have glittered his prothesis again, and his crush is dating someone new. On top of that, famous spirits are mysteriously vanishing from York's alley and snickel ways. Charlie is, de is determined to stay out of the way, but Sam, the irritating new seer in town, expects him to track down who or what is responsible and uncover the dark purpose behind the disappearance. Oh, it sounds really good. It definitely feels like it was perfect for the spooky season. So very excited for that. Um, and then our main pick for Rainbow Crate was The Restless Dark by Erica Waters. This is the Rainbow Crate exclusive cover. It is just stunning all around. Love that. Um, this is a YA horror thriller I think that is a standalone novel um but yeah I don't really know too much about it except it's a kind of campy camp vibe story um and found families in here and this was actually one of the few books that was on my wish list so I'm happy to take it off and say that I have it from Rainbow Crate and then the October Owl Crate book that was along with the Secret Garden was The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrews. I'm again putting this in this book haul because I got it literally the day of Halloween and I've already filmed my book haul previous to that day. So I was like, might as well just throw it in here. So again, don't know too much about this um, except it's another stunning addition. Sorry, <laughs> I'm hearing things. Um, stunning end pages, author letter stunning and then stunning on the back which you can't really see the back but there's the back and then hi Bubba <laughs> and then there's this awesome dust jacket oh rocket 
<laughs> what are you doing? You making a mess in my room? Sorry, puppies are distracting. This is why I shut my door, people. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, very excited to get to this one as always. Um, I actually didn't really hear too much about this going around book two. So I'm curious to see what I will think of this and to see if I will love it or not. And then our November pick for Owl Crate was The Luminaries by Sarah. No, not Sarah. Susan Dennard. Um, this is a book that I'm actually quite nervous for because I read Truth with Truth Witch by this author. And I wasn't a huge fan of it. I gave the first book like three stars. And then I tried to continue on with the series. But I just couldn't. I don't know why. Um, so I'm very nervous. But there's sprayed edges. The back. There's a quote on the back. And then these end pages. Oh my gosh. They're stunning. Owl Crate is just knocking it out of the park with these stunning additions. And then the stunning artwork on the cover. So yes, very much loving all this special edition from Owl Crate that we have been getting. So yeah, I'm very nervous for this one, but hopefully I'll love this one a bit more than Truth Witch. So fingers crossed for a good read. If not, I'll sadly un have to unhaul this, but it's such a pretty edition that I don't really want to unhaul it. Uh, the next three books are new releases that came out throughout the year and so first book i have is three kisses one midnight by rishani chakshe evelyn sky and samia minin um this is a short story collection set around halloween um i did start reading this because i had an e-arc of this from the publishing company for quite a while and i just never got around to like finishing it so i have a physical copy to have in my collection and also just to read because i'm read faster with a physical copy than on my e-reader um but yeah i don't really know too much about this except it's centered around halloween with the magic involved <laughs> um next one is one i'm most anticipating and that is a white out by donya clayton tiffany d jackson nick stone angie thomas ashley woodfolk and nicola yoon these are the same lovely authors who have brought us blackout which was a YA anthology short story collection of black teens falling in love um and it's the same thing with this story black teens falling in love but in the snow this time um so yeah I don't really want to read it the summary for you for this one just because I don't want to spoil you things for what happened in blackout in case these two stories are connected if they are great if they're not than gay <laughs> uh but yeah it's super short i'm definitely reading this in december as well because i just feel like it will be perfect for my holiday reads and then the final book for this book haul is convergence by zoraida kodora i am so excited for this i know i keep saying that for all the books but this is literally like a pre-order that i had pre-order from the very beginning of this year and it's finally in my hands this cover is gorgeous in person as well I just love the purple lightsabers they are amazing <laughs> um again I don't want to read too much into this one except it's set in the same universe as the High Republic book that I showed earlier and also this is the adult pick so very excited and hopefully I will love this and it's not going to be a disappointment like a few of the adult picks have been um but yeah very excited i can't wait to get to it and this is the final book in my book haul so there you have it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this book haul if you did please give me a big thumb up hit that subscribe button turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me every day of the december and i'll check with you guys down in the comments below if you would like to buddy read any of these books in with me please let me know down below as i will always be down to buddy read and i'll chat with you guys later bye